Recently, I found myself scrolling on social media for hours, everywhere, and I mean everywhere. And now I've finally decided to take care of this bad habit of mine and completely stop it. My grades aren't getting any better, I'm not happy, I'm not productive, and worst of all, I now have a very short attention span. This is the reason why I follow sleep in class lectures all the time, even video lectures. And as you read the title, I stopped scrolling on social media for a week. Let's run through how my week went. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm Kath. And if you're not new here, welcome back. And it's nice to have you here. Day one. I woke up at 6.30 in the morning and immediately sat up. I would usually use this time to just lay in bed a lot longer. 7.15 and I'm done getting ready. Just in time. I have to get to school now because my class is at 8.30. I just got home and instead of scrolling my phone today, I will start studying. I'm going to make a snack first and then I'll start doing all the tasks I need to get done. Except for the fact that I spend more time on the snack part instead of scrolling. Hold on, how am I supposed to not scroll for a week when I have friends who want to keep their streaks with me on TikTok? Who keeps sending me videos? Stop it! Now that was a bit of a problem. My friends and I tend to send each other reels back and forth and they know I am recording this video. Therefore, they still proceed to send me more videos and reels to watch. I now have time to walk the dog and play with her a little bit outside. And afterwards, I started listing all the tasks I had to do for today. And I definitely did manage to get more work in time than how I usually would if I was scrolling my phone for hours. It was kind of hard to get keep myself awake though. And I think I had withdrawals, that's what they call it. I mean, it's been more than half a day that I haven't scrolled my phone. So I somehow diverged this, this need and emotion for eating food. Day two, I got to class on time today because it is the earliest class I have for the week. I had to get to, I had to be in class at 7.30. Got home, I immediately <laughs> ate snacks and then got to my work. I just realized now that I only have three classes tomorrow. However, all of them has a quiz tomorrow. <laughs> and then our professor, for one of our classes, she gave us um she she gave us a video lecture today, and the quiz is tomorrow. And I just listened to the lecture video, and this is how much is on that quiz, by the way. And for keeping up with this challenge of mine of the week, I gave myself some Jolly Bee. And at this point, I realized how much work I had to do, like a lot of work and i now realize why my grades were mediocre day three i don't know if it's bad timing that i filmed the week on the week that i'm most stressed or it's a good timing that i filmed it on the week that i had a lot of work to do but hey because i was so stressed and i realized how much work i had to do and how much effort i had to put into it i completely forgot about the whole scrolling thing and not that I forgot and then went back to scrolling. I forgot and just never thought about opening my phone, opening social media to scroll for hours. And then I ended up taking a nap with my cat this afternoon just because I was really tired. I slept for a good amount of time. <clears throat> Probably like three hours, a good three hours of sleep of napping. I did continue studying after that nap and also made myself food. And at this point, I realized how mentally less tired I am because at this point, I would like spend a lot of time scrolling 
and then I wouldn't get any work done. I wouldn't even eat a proper meal. And then if I did eat a meal, I wouldn't wash the dishes right away. And surprisingly, this entire week, I would immediately clean up after my meals. And when a certain mess bothers me, I believe that this is because when you lay down and scroll and procrastinate and watch other people be productive, your brain thinks that you're being productive when in fact you're not. After I stopped scrolling on social media, I realized there's much work to do and I would get to it right away and I wouldn't feel tired at all because I didn't lay there and mindlessly scroll like how you probably are doing while watching this video. Day four, Thursday. I woke up early and got ready. Thursdays are the more relaxed days of the week because my class is around 9 a.m. So I don't have to wake up that early. Surprisingly, I had time to make lunch. When I got home, I did a snack like usual, and then I washed dishes and I prepped my dinner. on a routine by day four and i continue studying for the rest of the evening at this rate if i manage to get work done efficiently and really build this study routine habit i feel like i'm gonna get better at this day five i want to change it up a bit so i stay in the library and then had some milk tea shortly after. Who would name their child Nail? <laughs> Studies have shown that if we limit our time online, we're less likely to feel anxious or depressed. You can sleep better and we even focus on things that matter more. So if you're feeling overwhelmed or like you're in a rut, maybe it's time for you to put that phone down. Seriously, put the phone down and try to immerse yourself with your environment more. Day six, Saturday. I was able to start my morning nicely and even if we were near the end of the week, we still feel great. I couldn't feel much on the weekends because I had errands to do, such as grocery shopping. There's not scrolling for a week. I feel like it's been a game changer. I gained so much time back that I didn't even realize I was losing. So if you ever feel overwhelmed or just mentally drained, I recommend you to give this a shot. It's not about quitting social media forever, but it's just having time off for yourself. In this video, it, even just a few days can make a big difference. You don't have to make it such a dramatic change, but you can start out small. Maybe limit your time, like put um, more breaks in between. Try putting your phone down for a couple hours in a day and do other things. You might be surprised on how you would actually feel when you do stop this whole doom scrolling thing because i know it's i'm not the only person who has gone through this or is going through this i won't just make this video any longer thank you so much for watching thank you for your time let me know if you do decide to do this let me know in the comments and tell me all about it and let's take back our time and energy at least one scroll at a time